and we skip to the good part. You've arrived at your destination. <laughs> It's more fun in the Philippines Bakit ba lalayo? Sobrang swerte kaya ng chinelos mo Nakatapag ka sa paraiso It's more fun in the Philippines Bakit ba lalayo? Tourism. Strength refers to the characteristics of a location that makes it a desirable tourist destination. Weakness is any situation in a location that harms the tourist pleasure and comfort. Opportunities relate to either the traits or assets of a location that may be exploited to increase its attractiveness as a tourist destination or projects that are being planned or implemented to improve the area's circumstances. Finally, Threats are occurrences or conditions in a location that may have a negative influence on someone remaining there for an extended period of time. Now, let's take a look back at the places we've recently visited. Mabuhay, ladies and gentlemen. We have just landed at Vigan City, Alapasur. Vigan, one of the Philippines' oldest towns, is a Spanish colonial fairy tale of darkwood palaces, cobblestone streets, and clattering calesas. Nandito ng lahat, saan pa pupunta? It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight Welcome to our next destination, Olongapo City, Zambales Olongapo features a number of noteworthy landmarks that have become popular tourist destinations This is a tribute to the locals who lived in the region over a century ago Halatang halatang Filipino ka And for our last stop Tagaytay City, Cavite! Tagaytay is a second-class city in the province of Cavite. It is around 60 kilometers from Manila, the capital city of the Philippines. It's more fun in the Philippines! Number 10 represents the new beginnings to Vegan City. So there are 10 high-value attractions named Calicasologo, Vegan Cathedral, Plaza Burgos, and more. Second, Vegan City has a variety of hotels. Hotel Luna and Paradores de Vigan. Third, there are usually two ways to arrive to Vigan City, by land and by air. Fourth, sanitation stations and tourism facilities are easily accessible. And lastly, wearing summer attire can make you feel the ambience of Vigan City. Different political views might affect the tourist arrivals. Five weaknesses are identified in Vigan City, Locosur. First, Ilocos region is the balwarte of the current president that can lessen its arrivals due to different political beliefs. Second, the extreme heat can affect everyone. Third, people in Mindanao will find it too far from their location. Fourth, most locals are relying on their animals like horses as their source of income. And lastly, the dark history will still be a nightmare to some locals. Filipino GMA series like Maria Clara and Ibarra gave high ratings to the cultural and economical aspects not only in Vegan City but also to the whole Philippines. Opportunities are everywhere. Recording showing the Spanish era is always happening in Calicosologo. Museums can preserve Ilocano's cultures. Festivities promote their products and good harvest. Supporting locals can help them survive life and hearing their stories can spread lessons and awareness. Caution! Modernization affects vegans, aesthetics, and history. Here are some possible threats to occur in Ilocosur. First, the officials can plan for history changing, can be the cause of war, chaos, and deaths. 
then animals may easily go extinct if always exposed to human. Also, a recent news happened that the Bantai Bell Church Tower had been damaged by an earthquake. And lastly, fires can turn the historical places to ashes. Come and visit the second largest province in Central Luzon known for its summer vibes attractions. Experience the wildlife adventures while learning about the Aika community's culture and way of life at Zubik Safari. Travel the undersea world at Mango's Dive Center and many more. The city has so much to offer with its numerous unique and fun resorts and attractions to experience. Riding a bus is an option if you want to get to the city in the simplest way possible. The Aita community has poor health services and access to the advanced establishments and facilities. There are also some points that weaken the comfort of both locals and tourists. First, the overall health of the Aita community living in remote areas has been challenged by poor access to health and social welfare services. Second, unlike other provinces, Olongapo has unique driving restrictions which may lead them into confusion. Third, the hot weather could lead to heat stroke and dehydration. Lastly, Olongapo is not as well known or populated as Vigan and Tagaytay. Zubik Safari's partnership with the Aita community gives a chance to share Aita's culture and way of life. The city also holds opportunities for development and improvement. How? Given the potential for natural disasters, the city is constantly working to establish an effective rescue team with qualified personnel. This includes the members of CDRRMO as well as frontline services providers and rescuers. Finally, Olongapo's urbanized and rich history will undoubtedly appeal the history buffs. With its geographical location, Olongapo City is prone to natural calamities such as typhoons, causing floods and tsunamis. Flash floods brought on by tropical depressions and typhoons could also cause the Aitas to lose their homes. This makes it difficult for them to access the plants and animals they need for survival. It also increases the risk of getting sick from consuming contaminated water, foodborne illnesses, and other sickness. Experience the cold, breezy weather and refreshing air of Tagaytay City! Tagaytay City is one of the go-to places for everyone. There are numerous attractions to choose from such as Picnic Grove and Sky Ranch. It is accessible through various points. Picnic Grove and Sky Ranch are one of the main attractions. Also, trying the famous Bukopay and Espasol are also one of my favorite pasalubongs every time I go there. The extreme traffic along the roads of Tagaytay causes waste of time for tourists. With numerous tourist locations and attractions such as Tagaytay Picnic Grove, Many travelers visit the city on a daily basis, taking advantage of the extensive road networks that connect Tagaytay. The huge volume of commuters and visitors in Tagaytay City frequently causes traffic congestions, particularly with the inflow of visitors from Metro Manila and other major cities. Being accessible and open to a lot of jobs, success is where opportunity and preparation meets. Tagaytay City is a warm and moist place that makes it a desirable spot to stay around the holidays. Excellent restaurants to explore various cuisines, especially the well-known bulalo made in Tagaytay City. In addition to the top hotels and resorts, Tagaytay offers futuristic activities at Sky Ranch and Picnic Grove as well as feeling good in the ambience of coffee shops. Volcanic eruptions and minor ash falls are the main threats of Tagaytay City. Due to the Taal Volcano, Tagaytay City is prone to ash falls and volcanic eruptions. Volcanic ash can irritate the ice and upper airways. When the volcano erupted in January 2020, Tagaytay was one of the locations affected. The city, a popular summer destination, was reeling from the consequences of the eruption and later, restrictions imposed by the COVID-19 epidemic. Believing that there is always room for improvements, vegan city of Ilocosur should encourage peace, exercise catastrophe risk prevention, and officials should focus on present projects rather than the past. Olongapo City in Sambales should give enough basic necessities, protection, and equitable employment opportunities for the Aita community. Tagaytay City in Cavite should preserve the unique flavor of its specialties and preserve their natural environment to assist the Al volcano in balancing its temperature. Oh,